That's what you guys might not tell us today. Got a video. I eat cookie dough because we didn't end up using it. And mom told me to eat it. So, today, I'm about to put one sword and shield. Sword and shield. Scarlet and Violet. We're not talking about Sword and Shield. So, Scarlet and Violet have a problem. And it was a known problem. But I personally wasn't bothered by it. But the DLC has exasperated this problem. The problem, you ask? There's way too many options in the game. I don't know how to choose my teams. There's so many cool Pokemon. So, I used Meowskarada, Garganical, Palmont, Claude Sire, Armor Rouge, and Tinkaton. Then I added Baxcalibur and Houndstone. Then I played through Violet and I had Hawkwavel. Iron Treads, Lockix, Annihilate, Serilege, lots of other Pokemon. Now I've got another Scarlet playthrough that I never actually finished. We've got a bunch more Pokemon. Not all of them are new, by the way. Um, this other team, for example, is like Breloom and Crowell Mode, who I just like. Now I have the DLC. And now I've got. Samurai. I actually used a sweet Samurai already. Um, Primarina, Swampert, Empoleon, Blaziken, or Infernape, Torterra, Minshao, Chandelure, Yonvega, Galvantula, Mbombi, Alchemy, Gliscor, um, Clefable. I'm never going to run out of teams. I'm, I'm going to be able to play this game until eternity. Because there's so many cool Pokemon. And I believe you can try to do Pokemon home. So I can catch Pokemon. Trade them to my other account. My Nintendo account that I use as a to restart. And I can just play. It's incredible. Like a Crawdon. I can use Crawdon as well. I don't actually have a chance to use Clydesler. I could use Clydesler. Um Weavile's pretty cool. There's just like... There's so many Pokemon. There's way too many Pokemon. I haven't used Flamigo yet. Halucha's really cool. I've started just using a Ditto and Breeding so I can use all the Pokemon earlier. It's like Heracross and Halucha are really late game. I think the areas there and they're like level 40. There's Lycanroc. I use Dusk Form, not Dusk Form, Night Form. I haven't used Dusk Form though yet. Or Daytime Form. I don't like Salazzle, who got like Lost Flame Burst. I got stuck with like, I don't know, Incinerate or something. Some like base 60 power move. And like Venoshock until like way late in the game. Or like I might have had to team one of them or something like that. Now like, like Rock actually get ground moves, I think. Didn't get ground moves before. I used it in the nightmarishly hard Sun and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon team I had, where I just happened to not get a Water Fairy Ice or Ground type. I didn't think Lycan Rock wouldn't get a ground move at all. I think it got a Tutor ground move, but you know that's post game. So yeah, there's just too many Pokemon. Timber, that's another cool one I saw. I haven't even used either Paldean. I haven't used any of the Paldean Taurus. I'd like to use one of the type breeds. Water or fire. But I haven't used regular either. Past Simeons and Violet. I think Past Simeons is pretty cool. Did I mention Conkelder is in the game now? That's a cool one. Just. Way too many options. Well, wow, all of them just fell over. So, yeah. Terrible problem to have. 
don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking next time I play through whenever that is. I really want to, but I should wait. It's been just over a year since the game came out. I played it three and a half times. So I should wait. But, uh, that's all the cookie dough I'm going to have. I don't want to eat too much. Not very healthy. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking maybe the next time I play through, though, I use, like, those fairy types, like, Rabombi, Clefable, Primarina, and then water types, Empoleon, Swampert, Primarina. Maybe get Gliscor and Omega. And I got two bug types, two flying types, three water, three fairy, and you might say, that's a terribly imbalanced team. Which I would say, yes, but my original teams have all been heavily balanced towards fighting and dark types and ghost types and fire types. Combined... Houndstone, Spiritoon, which dropped off the team and I re-leveled up. Um, Hisuian Zoroark, Annihilate Seraledge, Ghost, Annihilate Heracross, Palmot, there's a Sneasler, four fighting types, Hisuian Samwat, Crocodile, Meowskarata, Meowskarata again, um, and... Actually, that's it for the dark types. I, I don't think there was another dark type. But I, I didn't have a lot of fairy types. Because there's so many dark types, I, I did use Grimstone on an alternate playthrough. I didn't like the fairy type selection as much. I didn't like the water selection. I didn't like the ground selection. I didn't like the bug selection. Those are my least favorite selections of Pokemon. I thought most of the cool bug types weren't in the game. Um, and Scyther, if I wanted to evolve... I could just use Scyther, but if I wanted to evolve Scyther, I'd have to trade. That's annoying. Heracross is just super, super late game. Um, water types, I thought there were some kind of cool ones. Azumarill was really good. Clarkster was kind of interesting. Uh, I could use Cloyster, I guess. Palafin's cool, but it's awkward because, again, you have to have the friendship thingy. So, it's like, there's a lot of Pokemon that just, it's really, there's a lot of Pokemon for those types that just aren't my favorites. Uh, same with Ground. I did thankfully have Crocodile, but those are the Ground types I wasn't, like, super high on. Cloudstar is cool. Like, I like Cloudstar, but I wouldn't want Cloudstar to be my only ground type, uh, again, because it's just, it's tanky, uh, which is fine, but it doesn't hit as hard. So, I prefer harder hitting things than Cloudstar. I did like Cloudstar. I think it's a cool Pokemon. I like its type, too. Anyway, so yeah, just way too many Pokemon to use. Just way too many. Like, not, not even, like, I just can't put it in words. There's just so many Pokemon, so many options. I probably still have like 100 Pokemon that I'm interested in using or I've already used that I, you know. Because if I did use them, then I was interested in using them, right? So, I mean, there's just so much. I, how am I supposed to choose? But yeah, Fairy. Fairy is the other one. I don't like as many Fairy types in the game. Because I didn't care for Fido. I got Tinkaton and then Grimmsnarl's in the game. And then there was Azumarill and Gardevoir. Cool, cool, cool. But it just it didn't, I didn't end up using any of them. Azumarill's stuck on the Scarlet team. I haven't finished yet. So, yeah. All the types that I didn't like as much are, like, fully fixed with my favorites of all of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Mad Cargo. I can use Mad Cargo. I've never gonna use Mad Cargo. I always thought Mad Cargo was cool. I don't know why I like Mad Cargo so much. It totally does not fit my... Fit anything that I like. But I like its design. I think it's cool. So I can use Mad Cargo. Yeah. So, yeah. Just way too many Pokemon. Way too many Pokemon. I can't believe Pokemon gave us so many cool choices to use. It's just ridiculous. So, there we go. That's it. That's that's the video. That's the problem. That's the problem with Scarlet and Violet, that the DLC just exasperated. Honestly, if it weren't for the graphics, the game would probably be my favorite. But the graphics and the fact that I glitched through the floor of the school one time into the ocean and then got stuck in a respawn glitch where it respawned me back in the ocean. You escape the ocean, I'm back in the ocean. You escape the ocean, back in the ocean. Over and over again. Probably would put these number one above black and white and black and white too. The only other thing holding the back is the soundtrack. Arizia themes, awesome. I don't really think the rest of the soundtrack is that great. It's fine, but nothing like stands out to me as like, ooh, this song, you know, like nothing. Nothing, except for Arizia themes, really. That's been a problem with the last few games. I think Sword, I think Sword and Shield is the same way. There's a couple really good ones. Spike with theme, a lot of the battle themes are really good. Battle themes are really good in that game. And then uh, Sun and Moon. Some of them stick with it. It does stick with me a little bit better, but it was a very, um, like, tropical-feeling soundtrack, you know? 
um, xylophones and some of the guitar, which isn't my favorite style. Um, those songs stuck with me a little bit more throughout the game, but the battle themes didn't really stick with me. I can't think of the battle themes off the top of my head. X and Y and Oris were the last ones to have absolute banger soundtracks. And everything before that was pretty banger. Oh, let's go. Let's go get a soundtrack. Um, obviously that and Oris are remakes of original ones, but they're like very orchestrated and they sound lovely. Hope they do that with black and white. We get a universe stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.